Hello, YouTubers. Happy Memorial Day. And you're coming from my house. And, well, I didn't have much to do today. Uh, doing some Memorial Day picnicking and stuff. But I thought, well, now's a good time to do something I've been wanting to do a long time. And that is show my train I built. I got a couple passengers waiting here. This is Nora, my wife Jamie, and Liam. And we're going to go for a ride. this train from there's a customer uh, called um, Wally Barron and he built this back in the 60s and it didn't look like this so what it was was I have part of the frame here this was the original framework from that train and what he had were the tracks like this and it went down I'd say about a 15 degree slope about 300 feet. Now, I only have about 150 foot of track up. We went down this hill to a, a swimming hole that he had. 
instead of the kids riding or walking all the way down the hill they'd take the train and it was operated like a garage door over I'd push a button and we'd go down the hill and stop at the bottom they'd swim and all that about eight at a time I think could ride up this I wish I had pictures of it I took pictures of it when I before I took this apart but what happened was Wally Barron sold it to Tim Twartzik who was married to his niece and for a while they had it they tried to get it working having problems with it and I've been servicing their equipment for years when Wally Barron owned this property yet too and one day I just asked him I was like well what are you ever going to do with this train there's a tree falling on it the, the car was off its tracks he said to me if you want it take it so five days and about 10 truckloads because I had to take all this track up now this is only half of it that's down. I didn't put it all up. And all this, all the railroad ties were original, but they were up on piers that went down this hill and averaged from three foot high, almost up to 20 feet high. And there is a video of this railroad up, and it was up in Frackville. It was called the Frackville Incline. That kid just still want to go for a ride yet. But yeah, he told me to take it, so I took it apart and I put it together here on my property uh, about five years ago. And then me and a friend uh, brought it here, put it all together. Now the railroad used to be three foot wide. We made it a normal two foot gauge or what you would call a quarter gauge. And I think that's right. No, I'm sorry, half gauge because real rails are four foot apart. These are two feet apart. And the train, well, the back the back car is the original car. I doctored it up a little bit. But those are the original wheels on the original tracks. The floor, pretty much anything you see the green paint on was original. The engine I made from a Craftsman tractor, a hydraulic Craftsman tractor. An old oil barrel, some pallets, some scrap metal. And the front of this is actually a hay um, for inside a stable to put the hay for the horses. It's turned upside down. You put the hay in there, the horses would eat it. That's what that is. I just think I gotta tighten it up a little bit. And my weld's getting out. Not quite done. The horn did work at one time, and now it decided not to. And you can see it's just a normal tractor. Briggs and Stratton twin cylinder engine. I think it's about, yeah, 20 horse. There it is, right there. And all I did was cut the rims in half. And certain rims, when you cut them in half, they look just like a railroad car wheel. So I used them. Eventually, I'm going to make this all-wheel drive. Right now, it's only two-wheel drive. And it's pretty much still a tractor inside. But when you look at it from the outside, yeah, looks like a train. So, all right, that's what I wanted to put up. I did tell a couple of YouTubers about this up at a meetup. And I've asked them to come and you know, if they want to do any, any videos on it. If any of you YouTubers want to come out here, uh, get a hold of me in my contacts. I think I have my email up. Get a hold of me by my email. Come on out. I'll let you take some videos. Uh, you know, it'll be like a little meetup. I don't know how that's working right now with the COVID, but I think we're in the yellow now, which is good because I'll tell you what, being inside the house, not being able to do anything, and not even being able to go out of YouTube. And right now it's getting real nice out. But yeah, the last couple of videos I found ticks on me. But okay. Let me just switch you around. And until then, you just have yourselves a, a very, very happy Memorial Day. Be safe. Yeah, I got out here by some rules. I know we don't like to hear by, but we'll get through this together. And until then, happy Memorial Day. This is the Cold Cracker saying goodbye. Say bye, Nora. Bye.